Well, hello everybody, and thank you for joining in and listening. We uh, <clears throat> we do build our violins here very good, and our mission here is to restore. I'm Robert from Renaissance Violin, and what we have here is we rescue, and one of our jobs is to rescue violins. And I have a half inch copy of an Antonio Stradivarius violin. Um, and as you can tell, it sounds very good, and I'm sure there's going to be other players that sound much better than I, but uh, we've done an excellent job. Um, the, the violin was made in Germany, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my phone, and I'll just... I cut towards the light, and if you could see, it says Antonio, copy of Antonio Stradivarius, and it was made in Germany, Okay. So as you can tell, this uh, this violin was originally let me read it back here. The violin was originally a more of a uh, a brownish color. It was worn out. We restored it with a nice black oil varnish, and an upscale uh, Miami artist did a lot of beautiful beadwork. And if you take a look at the side of the ribs, I mean, it's really a great job all around. As you look around it, um, fingerboard was repainted. Uh, back neck was also polished. Uh, we replaced the pegs in and we greased them. Uh, also comes with a new Ascente string set. Um, we were able to save the older bridge, the old bridge I should say. Um, and it's really, you know, I think it's a really a great deal. So we've had clients here that, you know, play the violin uh, for young students who are just starting orchestra. We even have uh, clients that have purchased the violin, you know, just for a, a display uh, showcase, a conversation piece. Um, let me also, I don't want to forget, let me go to the back side of the violin, as you can see. Plenty of detail in this violin. That you can see it, no doubt, that it's really, really a great, great job. The Miami artist took his time and redid it. And right now I just have it, which will be included. You see here, this is the the, the, the electronic tuner. It, it's detachable. It's a Daddario tuner. They're very, very good. And of course that will come with the violin and is detachable. Also included in the violin, let me turn my phone here. Okay, is the half inch case. It's a nice green velvet. It's got some com open compartments, one closed compartment. We also have <clears throat> The bow that we really didn't do much work to, we did clean uh, the horse hair, no doubt. And this bow, if I can get it closer, has a name on it. It, it. it sounds really good. I know it's difficult to see. I'm trying to get it more up and clearer, but I'll try to read it. Um, let me go right here. Glass? It's a glass ago type uh, bow, if I'm saying it correctly. Um, but it, it works good. You can see the frog is in good shape. The ebony is in good shape. Um, everything is tight on it. And as you can see, also will be included in the package is a new Roslyn case. As you can tell, polishing cloth will come with it. Humidifier. I'm not going to advertise it, but um, if you want to purchase the violin just to display, um, say, Rob, please include the wool hanger for the violin. I'll include it. It's a $15 value. So, again, um, um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to, uh, you know, communicate with me through uh, via uh, eBay email, and I'd be more than happy to answer um, your uh, questions as well, too. And, again, again, it's a half-inch copy, just coming around here, of this, you know, really, really beautiful violin, and I'll say... I think it's it, it either a it'll make it'll make good for a, you know a younger student or anybody that has keep in mind too with a half inch copy your arm length should be at least 20 inches from your neck to your arm so if at least 20 inches you know what I mean uh, to play a half inch copy but again feel free um, to uh, let me know if you have any questions and again thank you for uh, for viewing the video and happy bidding.